All right, welcome back to a uh, another episode of Crusader Kings Three. Uh, so we basically decided uh, when I thought everything was clear in terms of factions, we went to war with uh, this one duchy, and they called in their allies from uh, Northern Africa here, the uh, Isnaton Emirate. Um, and uh, yeah, for some reason, apparently our, our vast our uh, levies are not doing so well. Um, we need to switch over to organizing levies at this point. Um, and I need to move the uh, rally point, which is up here. We need to move this to here, and we need to raise our uh, our um, things again. Um, this is pretty bad, though, because we got a additional war to deal with. Well, Powerful Vassal's gonna get in here. And we're gonna have to call in France into this Liberty War. And they need to get involved. ASAP. I mean, this guy that I, I granted you vassalage, and now you're against me. That's kinda BS. Uh, can I a white piece out of this? No. I'm not paying 230 and spending. This is a really uh, bad time. Estefania becomes my friend. She's already uh, positive shape. Uh, I'm at war with Simon. I'm, I'm not going to trust somebody who I'm at war with. Um, I'll go with Duchess uh, Stefania here. We should be grabbing these guys as they're still separated. There you go. Yeah, sticky situation in the Iberian Peninsula. That's kind of... There we go! End of Alfonso! King Alfonso IV of Leon rests in the arms of the Lord at 57 years of age. He died of heart failure. An old man, he lived a long, fulfilling life. King Sancho ascends to the throne. Being a talented military tactician, many expect him to lead the realm to many victories on the field of battle. Well, um, that sounds like good news. Um, military tactician, military tactician, um, yeah, Alfonso the Sixth. I can't believe that this is the end of Alfonso the Sixth. I was expecting him to live to like sixties, but he clearly didn't die of old age. He died of heart failure. Okay, so that's probably that uh, melan uh, melancholic trait. He's excommunicated, so we're probably not going to have good opinions at first. But uh, um, pretty soon, how old's her wife? Twenty-eight, same age as us. Pretty soon we should see that um, opinion should hopefully get better um, with uh, with him since he's not uh, actually did Alfonso really be was Alfonso really that bad of a uh, guy yeah we're not we're completely not in the Alfonso this is a very unorthodox I kind of wanted to go for this this is very unorthodox because if we actually look at this I'm not actually the dynasty head I'm the house head. Um, we are actually under this is a very strange view. this is a very strange view um it's now putting me on Garcia the fifth line I was expecting to be thrown over here to be under Sancho the second to see another Sancho the second of Leon, but apparently we're gonna probably be seeing this, which is I'd rather be seeing this to be honest. But the game's gonna toss this at me probably. There's Anso. I don't even know. Okay, so his wife now has the duchy. So the mom must have died. Yeah, the the, the not mom was Constancia. So she, she for somehow, if you if you really forgot about this running joke, um, Anso died when we murdered him. I 
I think we murdered him, right? That was us that murdered him. I can't actually see that anymore because that secret never broke out. Um, if for some reason, the succession law decided it was going to be his wife's mother that got his titles. So, that was uh, Constanzia that got to the title of Navarra, the county of Navarra, because that's what Anso the Fourth was left with after we stole his kingdom from him. And now her her daughter Estefania, which Estefania was Anso's. Uh, uh, you can actually see it right here. Estefania was Anso's husband. If you look at uh, Anso, you can actually see. Yeah, his wife has that duchy of the county. Uh, he only had the county. The duchy was not created when he was alive. But uh, yeah, very strange turn of events. It's not in this time. It's not in this uh, dynasty. Um, you have to go to his wife, who's in Navarra, the Navarra dynasty. But her mother. She's in the Navarra dynasty, but her mother was in the Estella dynasty. So, uh, it's pretty strange. I don't know how the game processed this, but it looks like things... Okay, the Estella dynasty is just completely gone now. It's been completely purged, I guess, at this point. So, yeah, so we have our son. Oh, oh we lost our alliance with France. Ooh, uh, oof. Uh, I just realized that... Uh, Uh, I'm guessing the I'm not gonna I don't know what those reinforcements from France is gonna happen, but uh, we need to look for alliance power. Um. Oh, this window's gonna be terrible. Uh, it's usually easier if they have it in the corner because I can actually see how many uh, men they have. But uh, uh, yeah, see, I have to click on it and see. This is 2.7k soldiers. Not as good as France, right? France could give us 4k, no problem. Um, these guys, what are they looking at here? 4.6k. Oh, I don't want to marry you to a one-year-old, but uh, is, I guess that might be the best we got. Oh, France is over here. This is a potential alliance. This is also a potential alliance. I don't know why France is considered a weaker ally. It's still Philippe. Philippe is still the king. Your wife is dead. You executed on King Philippe's orders on June 3rd, uh, 1093. I guess she was unfaithful. Alfonso was not that mean to his wife. She's 42. What's our wife? 28. That's right. I can't exactly just marry. Uh, I mean, what we could do is we could marry our son to her, if that's possible. Uh, it's kind of really screwy, but... Uh, disinherited. She's disinherited. No wonder we uh, disinherited. Well, that wasn't us that disinherited her. She's disinherited from this dynasty. I can see why. I don't know why I was thinking that we did that. Alfonso... Ah, here it is. I can't... find a spouse for an imprisoned person. Um, so I'm gonna bookmark you here. Um... Negotiate release. Gain a weak hook. Weak hook. She would even take the vows to get the to become a monk. Uh, I want to negotiate release because I want to see if I can do something really stupid with my son. We still have France backing us in this war, even though France is probably not. Oh, we have to completely rebuild this. Um, yeah, very strong negatives across the board. Let's see here. Chivalry? We only have one powerful vassal. I guess you're gonna be the steward, just to, just to, just to get this, this off my screen here. Spy Master, you're the strongest. The other guy died. That was 17. Chivalry? Yes, you're pretty good with chivalry. Diplomacy, not bad. Yeah, gonna focus on domestic affairs. That's a good start. Um, so this negative debuff. 
I'm arbitrary and I'm arrogant. Yeah, that's not great. Short Reign, that's going to disappear hopefully soon. And the Crown Authority, which you, you got to deal with that, I guess. Uh, I mean, that's the whole point of this war. And Partition plus 5. Arrogant versus Humble is also not good. And the Opinion of Predecessor. So we got negative 8 and we got... So negative 28 is going to disappear. Which is going to flip a lot of these guys over. And if we start getting positives... Definitely people or she like the predecessor. That's that's kind of not good because that just means that her opinion is gonna stay the same. Because twenty-two positive, twenty negative, that's gonna cancel out. Um and that's really just gonna make it so that's negative twenty goes down by two actually. Pedro, Mayor Pedro. Yeah, arbitrary we have bad trades with this guy actually. Wrathful. Humble. Actually, Humble's a good trade. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. He's, he's probably uh, not Humble then. Yeah, he's... Uh... Wait, I thought... How was it? No, he's arrogant. This guy's arrogant. And we're Humble. Okay, so Wrathful... He doesn't like Wrathful? Arbitrary. Oh, I'm Arbitrary. He's arrogant. Okay, so I guess I could always say the only bad trait we have is Arbitrary. Um, let's see here. France, uh, let's go for Marshall. Uh, what is this knight advantage? Is this, like, when I'm the knight, or for all commanders? Um, who wants strategy? Okay, I said there was something that was good. I think I was looking at Ducal Conquest in here, which is decent. What's this? What happened to this? This this war's just over. Okay, no truce. It's just done. Okay, so we're only dealing with a revolt at this point. Good to know. Let's hide that. Um, yeah, so we're only dealing with a revolt, and I need to pick a focus. I should pick strategy, but the thing is, I, I don't know how badly I need strategy. Uh, I'll pick strategy for now, but I want to unlock Ducal Conquest because I like Ducal Conquest. It was pretty uh, useful for arguing that we wanted to make a duchy that we didn't have access to. So let's hope France is gonna. Okay. I'm here. Can I find a spouse? Uh, I guess you can't marry my child, huh? Let's go by H. The other way around. My son. She's 42, you're 10. Uh, this might not be great, but... How's my son doing? Not strong on intrigue, but uh Does that is that gonna give us a she's, she's uh not doing well, so she might not live for very long. Anyways, I just need to keep Oh yeah, that's right. He's excommunicated, but he actually has a reason because he's a fornicator. He's quite irritable as well. That should keep my alliance with France. That didn't look like. Doesn't look like that happened. I'd have married my son. Uh, okay, so Estefania is no longer the dynasty head. I don't know what France is doing. They're. They're going to the Byzantine. They're going somewhere in Croatia. Okay, so we're basically left on our own. Ah, uh, that's not good. Educate my own child. Okay, so we're actually kind of screwed because France is basically...
saying that uh, they're not gonna do anything. Yeah, France is just going. Okay, um. We're. This is pretty bad. Uh, independent from their Liege. Um, this is Zaragoza. You want to lower crime authority? We might actually have to just bite on that. Uh, we're still focusing on converting the culture and the faith in the same county. Um, the alliance with you is gone. Um, your primary heir is not great. He will not accept. He's also not going to accept. He's marrying down. Uh, uh, female, female, female. Where is the gender option? Nope. We really only have three females for you. Um, I'm sorry. That's like it. Oh, here's Christina. That's probably not the same Christina that was trying to be installed on her throne a million times. Uh... I don't know how we're going to recover from this war. And they're sieging the capital, so this is not going to go very well. I can start trying to siege their stuff, but I can't I can't imagine this is basically a lost cause unless cuz no France means no support. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let's switch over this rally point. Um, yeah, let's switch over that rally point. Is that gonna be... 11? Okay. Um, France, are you backing me up? I don't know where France is backing me up. My wife's pregnant. That's good. We want a lot of pregnancies and we want a lot of children. Um, 2.2k, this is not gonna end very well for us. I don't know where France is. I saw them f fly by, but uh, I don't know where they are. Okay, so France is. This is including France's help. France is not doing well. Um, Solves. They got some losing battles. Uh, Slavonia. Okay, so we got some Adamites over here. Yeah, this is uh, not doing well. My courtier. Okay, so she died in captivity because she was the criminal that uh, somebody cheated on. Rodrigo is going to keep the trade fickle. What are, what are we trying to aim, Rodrigo? So this is marriage is completely useless. From all we learned. Um, oh, this marriage is actually terrible. The fact that it's useless and now we're not going to get any children with uh, Rodrigo. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, um, uh, let's just hope that uh, by the time Rodrigo is the actual uh, person in charge here, that uh, there's going to be a new marriage for him. Yeah, so Rodrigo... Uh, is this guy going for intrigue? 
I don't like that tree that much. Sadistic. Um, what's your f your focus is between Marshall and stewardship, and you're going for Marshall. Wrathful's better for Marshall. It sacrifices one from your intrigue. Which means it's gonna go down three. Like down two. Because you get a bonus. It's more like you lose two. Something like that. Yeah, okay, so you're gonna go down like true two intrigue. I mean, it's more based on your spy master, right? Natural dread plus twenty. I feel like Wrathful's probably better. Three, okay, so it wasn't terrible. Um, since my vassal Count Simon arrived at my court as per my generous invitation, he has barely left his chambers. I demand an explanation. When I push the door open, Count Simon is seated by his desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, he jumps out of his skin. He quickly stuffs a roll of parchment into his pocket and turns towards me with an uneasy look upon his face. I'm not an intrigue character, right? Yeah, I'm not strong on intrigue. Uh, respect is privacy. He's gonna lose 15 opinion of me. He's already not liking me. Oh, we have to start talking about a sway scheme. Um, did you really think I would not see, this, see that? Give it to me at once. Simon hands me the crumpled parchment and crosses his arms. Well, well, well. How delightfully wicked. According to this blackmail letter... Simon feasts on human flesh. Oh, that's pretty, uh... That's pretty messed up. Um... Assist ruler... Chivalry or stewardship? Let's go with chivalry at the moment. We definitely need more chivalry. Spymasters, what we have. Yeah, I think we I think we already talked about uh we have what we can get basically. Yeah. This is not great. I, I really don't want to lower the crown authority, but I'm I'm thinking that that's like something that's just something we have to deal with. Okay, it's not great. This rally point needs to be moved. We're gonna go after, we're just gonna try to assert our dominance on Zamora at this point. We're gonna move our rally point over here and uh, basically focus on getting these guys down as fast as possible. Um, I don't know if France is joining in. France is apparently not our ally. Our Archbishop is not endorsing us. Let's start a sway, sway scheme on him then. Low control in Lyon and Benevente. Yeah, let's go after these guys. We got 1800 men. If your Aaron's son, Rodrigo, could visit my court in Calatayud to meet his peers. I'm inviting everyone of note, which unfortunately includes him. Uh, why is it unfortunate that my son and heir is going to be included in your party? I don't know what France is doing. They're not a part of this, are they? Yeah, we got uh, we got no allies except for Navarro, which doesn't really count. We need a lot of children. You need you need to literally strong's not a bad uh, congenital trait, to be honest. Yeah. I remember when this guy was our, uh, our, uh, uh, our, uh, vassal. Okay. Uh, 
As the door to the birthing chamber opens, I'm not greeted by smiling midwives and a crying babe, but instead Queen Beatrice's heart-wrenching wails. I am so sorry, my lord. The midwife looks, does not look me in the eye. In her arms is a, is a tiny covered bundle. Your son, he is in heaven now. My son? In heaven? Your son was stillborn. Does that even count then? I guess that doesn't even count as a child being born then. She's not pregnant anymore, but I mean that kind of kind of sucks. Son went straight to heaven. Well, that was a uh, quick showdown. I mean the uh, Crown Authority was uh, losing battle at this point as well, so. Uh, Ducal Conquest. I guess I can't also run... I can't switch this to that. We got uh, until September 3rd, 1102. So we got to run the clock for like four years. To my liege, may you live in harmony and content. I have been a good vassal to you, but you surely understand that I have subjects of my own too. My current contract is very restrictive. Surely you'll see the wisdom in making it more lenient. And besides, you do owe me. Alvaro Sebastian is of Tui. Yeah, we're going to get a bunch of these hooks because we lost the... Uh, um, I didn't last very long. Coming my chancellor. Ah, uh, to pay 20 gold for this guy? This bastard? I don't think so. Um. Let's get Ponce back in the uh, action here. My Cancer Nunu died. Yeah, that was very fast. Um, so who has taken over for Nuno? You're not matrilineally married, so that's gonna be fun. Sh she's not someone I want to deal with, to be honest. Man, you have ugly children because you're ugly. Oh my goodness. Can I negotiate an alliance with you? Now, is that because I don't have enough uh, diplomacy skill? Diplomacy is not great. Uh, I mean, I can't get you to have a diplomacy education because you're not going to do well. He wants to be my spy master. Again, a weak hook on Rodrigo. Gain closer to gaining a friendship with my own son and he gains 15 opinion of me. That that's that sounds like what it should be. Okay, my steward, of course they're I mean that's better than like changing all the contracts and then like worrying about having to rack them up. You are actually not that bad with stewardship, to be honest. Although you have a hook. If I expose your secret, I can't use you to... I can use your hook to go to jail, though, can't I? If I go in the intrigue, hooks and secrets, blackmail him. Let's blackmail you. Only 10% chance. Even if I use the uh, the strong hook on him, it still counts as tyranny. How much does excommunication cost? Oh, my prestige is uh, through the floor. I have piety. Um, five percent chance is not good. 
Um, we have a faction against us. No. I don't know. Do I want to take this chance of uh, throwing him in jail or not? I don't know. Kind of risky. Oh, I don't know. You know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, well, this the secret's revealed now. I guess I'm gonna try. Ooh, punish criminal and enforce their punishment if you win. You will imprison Count Simon the Cannibal of, 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 of the, Simon the Cannibal. Ha. That's kind of funny. His heir doesn't hate me as much. Let's try this out. Maggot, you think you can stand against me? Um, low increase to your uh, very high increase to the likelihood of success very high increase to his risk of injury um, medium increase to your likelihood of success high increase to your Okay, so, uh, commanding the rapple in the battle and exercise shedding and intimidation to demonstrate to his, um, Simon by screaming foulness to the top of my considerable lungs. Have you forgotten your debt to me, Sancho? Smiles Simon. Well, I realize he's talking about my shoulder sag. My, f my form is deforming fast with numerous exploitable gaps and Simon's stance is passable. I have yet to open up my opponent's guard. Prowess minus four. Uh, I mean, might as well give him the same debuff. So he beat me. Um. That wasn't very uh, smart move, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm pretty beat up. Yeah, this is not going as smoothly. My wound has healed. What's this? Uh, aggravated wound, moderate penalty to health. Do we have a uh, core physician? We do. She doesn't like me, though. Uh, let's see here. Should we start reinvesting in some of our counties? Um, 605 gold, 200 gold. Um, sure, increasing gold plus uh, levies. It's not a bad choice. Um, same with Lyon. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so it's a cultural bo bottleneck here. Uh, hunting grounds. We got a lot of cash, surprisingly. Um, probably because this is just not as many wars in this playthrough um, as the others. And I'm actually noticing the time here is getting a little high. So, uh, yeah.